so hi everyone welcome to my channel mm class so today we will be discussing about integral calculus topic is definite integral so what is definite integral so when we say definite it has limits so before we are dealing with indefinite integral integral of f prime of x dx equal to f of x plus c but now we will be dealing with a definite integral so we have to remember this formula after integrating we have to substitute the limits b and a okay now let's have some examples so we have integral of 10x squared plus 10 dx limits from 0 to 2 applying power rule we have 10 over 3 x cubed plus 10x limits from 0 to 2 then we have to substitute the upper and lower limit we have 10 over 3 2 cubed plus 10 times 2 minus 10 over 3 0 cubed plus 10 times 0 okay then simplifying we have 10 over 3 2 cubed is 8 plus 10 times 2 is 20 then that's going to be 0 then we have 80 over 3 plus 20 so final answer we have is 140 over 3. So for our next problem we have x cubed minus x sine x plus y sine x over x squared plus 1 dx limits is from 130 to 130. So remember that we have integral of f prime of x dx limits from a to b that is equal to just simply integration evaluating with the limits f of b minus f of a so in our example we have the same limit so let's assume that if a is equal to b then f of b minus f of b or the same as f of a minus f of a that's equal to zero so if we consider that the answer to our problem no matter how complicated it is is simply zero so remember this property of definite integral, if the upper and lower limit is the same, then there is no work to do. The integral will always be equal to 0. So in our next problem, given that the integral of f of x dx limits from 6 to negative 10 is equal to 23, and integral of g of x dx limits from negative 10 to 6 is equal to negative 9, we have to determine the value of 2 f of x minus 10 g of x with the same limits. We have the same limits there and a different one here. So remember that we have an integral of f prime of x dx limits from a to b that is also equal to the integral of f prime of x dx with limits b to a provided that we put a negative sign there. So we have to make all the limits similar. So the integral of f of x dx limits from 6 to negative 10 uh, that will be equal to integral of f of x dx limits from negative 10 to 6 and we put the negative sign there so 23 will be negative 23 now we could find the answer to our known unknown value so integral of 2 x minus 10 g of x dx limits from negative 10 to 6 so let's just um, distribute the limits to f of x and the x minus uh, 10 g of x dx now let's just substitute the values from our problem that's negative 23 so 2 times negative 23 minus 10 times um, negative 9 so we have 2 times negative 23 that's simply negative 46 then plus 90 then the final answer in our problem is 43 so another property to remember we can interchange the limits in any definite integral all that we need to do is stock a minus sign now let's have more examples integral of 4 over 1 plus 2x raised to 3 minus 5 over 1 plus 2x dx limits from negative 2 
to negative 6 so we can simplify the first term let's put the exponent in the numerator 4 times 1 plus 2x3 to negative 3 then rewrite this 5 over 1 plus 2x so since both has 1 plus 2x you can let u equal to 1 plus 2x then derivative du is equal to 2dx then substitute so since we have 2dx there and the equation is no 2 so we put 1 half then 4 u raised to negative 3 minus 5 over 1 plus 2x is u so 5 over u and du then we can proceed with the integration so by power rule we have 4 u raised to negative 3 plus 1 that's 4 u raised to negative uh, 2 over negative 2 minus integral of 5 over u is 5 ln of u limits is negative 2 to negative 6 well, let's just simplify it first we have 1 half times negative 2 u raised to negative 2 minus 5 ln of u limits from negative 2 to negative 6 but u is equal to 1 plus 2x so let's put it back in its original equation negative 2 we have u is 1 plus 2x then raised to 2 minus 5 ln of 1 plus 2x Then we can now uh, substitute the upper and lower limits. One plus two times negative six. So be careful of uh, no, parentheses, brackets when you do some um, long equations like this. So if we simplify, we can have 112 over 1089 plus 5 over 2 of 3 over 11. So it's approximately negative 3.1453603. So that is our answer. So our next example is integral of e raised to y plus 2 cosine of pi y dy. So we have an exponential and a tri trigonometric identity. So if we deal with trigonometric identity, remember that it must be in regions, okay? just um, distribute the limits and since cosine pi y has pi over there so our second equation must have over pi outside so it gets then proceed with integration limits from 0 to one half so e raised to one half plus two bar pi sine of pi times one half is pi over two then minus the lower limit is zero e raised to zero plus two over 
pi sine of uh, pi times 0 then we have sine pi over 2 that is equal to 1 and sine 0 is equal to 0 so we have e raised to 1 half plus 2 over pi minus what's left uh, e raised to 0 that's 1 so 1 so in calculator that's equal to 1.28534104 so that is our final answer now our next example is integral of e raised to x cosine of 1 minus e raised to x dx limits from 0 to ln of 1 plus pi let u is equal to 1 minus e raised to x derivative is negative e raised to x dx so as you can see in our equation e raised to x dx is present only the negative sign is that so substitute We have cosine u and du and the negative sign. So we have cosine u du. So the integral that is negative sine u limits uh, 0 to ln of 1 plus pi. Then substitute the u which is minus u raised to x. Limits from 0 to ln of 1 plus pi. We can substitute the upper and lower limits. Negative sign 1 minus e raised to a ln of 1 plus pi. Then minus negative sign of 1 minus e raised to 0. And we know that e raised to 0 is equal to 1 and it's sine 1 minus 1 0 sine equal to 0 we have negative sine 1 minus e raised to ln this cancels so 1 plus pi then 1 minus 1 is 0 we have negative sine of negative pi and that is equal to 0 Now let's talk about odd and even functions. So first, recall that an even function is any function which satisfies f of negative x is equal to f of x. Examples are x squared and cosine x. So in order to check if a function is an even function, you have to substitute negative x to x and if the equation is still the same, so that is an even function. So an odd function, on the other hand, satisfies f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So examples are x cubed and sine of x. So same process with the even function. To check, you have to substitute negative x in all x. So if it has negative, so it's an odd function. Now let's check if you understand even or odd function. Now what's the point of this? So in integrating even and add functions over interval negative a to a, so if the function is even, integral of f of x dx from limits negative a to a, that will be equal to 2 times integral of f of x dx, limit is 0 to a. But if the function is odd, so the integral f of x dx limits from negative a to a will be equal to zero now let's have some example so integrate the equation let's check first if it is an even or odd function so this is 
and even function. So our solution would be 2 times integral 4x raised to 4 minus x squared plus 1 dx. The limit will be from 0 to 2. So by simply power rule, so we have 2 times 4x raised to 5 over 5 minus x cubed over 3 plus x. Substituting the upper and lower limit, we have 0 to 2. Answer is 748 over 15. Now for our next example, we have integral of x raised to 5 plus sine x dx raised to negative 10 to 10. So by checking, you can say that this is an odd function. So therefore, the answer would be 0. So there you go class, that's the end of our tutorial video for today. So if you have some questions, just comment below. Thank you for watching.